Hi, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, today we are talking to Brian Nichols, uh, our special guest. Uh, he is a classroom su support specialist at UDIT, um, and we're going to talk to him a little bit about his job as well as some of his personal hobbies in life. So, Brian, how are you doing today? Pretty good. How are you doing, Greg? I'm doing all right. So, uh, first things first, how did you start working at UDIT? Um, so, I went to school here um, for engineering. Um, I have a, another friend who's in a somewhat IT-related field, um, not within UDIT. He previously worked for UDIT. Um, he happened to see the job posting, uh, thought it would be something I might be interested in, kind of fit my skill set. Obviously, I agreed, and then it kind of went on from there and accepted the position. Okay, so um, how, how long have you been working at UDIT? Um, I've been working in UDIT since June of 2012. Okay, and you've been in classroom support the entire time, correct? Uh, that is correct. Okay, um, could you just uh, first could just walk me through like a typical day in classroom support? Um, my typical day would probably start probably um, before I get in, maybe the day before actually. Um, with uh, with my position in classroom support, we also dabble in a lot of event support, um, have many meetings and appointments. Um, so I really have to be cognizant of viewing our calendar um, and any appointments I might have for the next day. So my typical day probably starts preparing for my day. And then once I arrive, um, take care of any appointments. And then uh, after that, then I usually have projects that I have ongoing that I'm going to work on when I don't have anything else going on. Um, but I'm also subject to um, technical support calls um, and impromptu calls throughout the day that I respond to. Okay. Um, so what is your favorite part of working for UDIT and why? I would say, I, I don't know if I can narrow it down to one, but I would say the, the people I work with and then the people that I work with to support. I, I think it's basically just the culture we have at UD um, makes for a good work environment. Um, you know, everybody carries themselves in such a nice way that it's easy to uh, work with and work for people. Okay. Um, so uh, besides working at UDIT, uh, when you're not making sure all the classrooms work properly, um, what are some of your other hobbies? Um, anybody who knows me, works around me, <laughs> even probably people that I support, uh, know that I'm a uh, very avid fisherman. Um, it, it's, it's a very depressing time of year for me right now in the wintertime, um, but that, that's my major hobby. Um, other than that, I'm a big sports fan, um, target shooting, things like that. Okay. Um, so how long have you been fishing for? Uh, I've been fishing since I can remember. Uh, ever since I've been a little kid, I've, I've gone on fishing trips with my dad, and uh, I think that was a big part of me growing up and something that I'll, I'll always have going through my life. Okay. Um, and uh, you, you like to fish for bass, correct? Uh, yeah, largemouth bass is normally okay. what I'm going after. Um, I'll fish for all kinds of things, but normally when I'm going out, all my gear, that's, that's what it's spec'd out for. That, that's what I'm after. Okay. Um, and uh, how big is the biggest uh, bass that you've ever caught? The biggest bass I've ever caught was probably just a hair over five pounds, um, which isn't very big. It's, it's, it's big for our area, um, but you know I don't get to the south a lot where they have a longer mm -hmm. growing and feeding, feeding season. So uh, that for me around here, if, if I catch another one of those this year or in the next two years, I'd be very happy. So. And um, so uh, do you have like uh, a favorite lake to fish on or like a favorite area? Mm, I would say my favorite lake that I would go to to go to actually try to catch fish that's somewhat local would be Rocky Fork Lake. However, my favorite lake in southwest Ohio is probably Stone Lake Lake. Um, that's where I fished when I was a kid with my dad. So it's got a little uh, special place in my heart, that, that lake there. Okay. And uh, have you ever participated in any tournaments, or do you have any plans to start participating? Um, I have not, um, but I do have every intention to. So since I just purchased a boat last year, I kind of wanted to feel my way around it, get used to, um, get used to that, um, and then you know practice my technique and make sure I don't embarrass myself. So yes, that is something I'd <laughs> like to do in the future at least. All right. Um, and what is your favorite thing about fishing? Um, my favorite thing about fishing is it's relaxing to me. Um, and then, but it's also competitive, not necessarily that I'm competing against anybody else, but I'm competing against myself and uh, the, the challenge that that provides to me. Okay. And um, real quick, uh, we're running out of time. So sure. uh, if you could just give me three adjectives that best describe you, uh, what would they be? Um, I'd say dedicated, uh, professional, and responsible. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I have been having a conversation with Brian Nichols, uh, classroom support specialist here at UDIT. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in.